called Akufuadu. This is what he says. If you only get the foundation laid and then run out of money, you are going to look pretty foolish. Everyone passing by will poke fun at you. He started something he couldn't finish. This is the word of the Lord. Don't you look foolish because you have only laid a foundation and run out of money. Mr. Speaker, this is not some judge, this is the Bible. You don't go to church. You don't go to church. The Bible knew, God knew that we will be, we will be, we will be saddled with a president who will not calculate the cost of a cathedral. Mr. Speaker, we have run out of money. People are walking by that place and poking fun at us and saying, look at them, they are foolish. Not us, you. <laughs> and you sit here today and you tell me that unless we build the cathedral, we will not have God's blessings. Have you not the same people who say that we have been blessed by not having a civil war? Did we have a cathedral for us not to have a civil war? Look at the cathedrals that we have. I'm a member of the Prayer Chapel International. Our cathedral seats 14,000 people. You are building a 5,000 sister cathedral. If 14,000 will not attack the blessings of God, it's 5,000 built by an LGBTQ advocate that will attack his blessings. <laughs> the minister sits there. The minister for works and housing is in this house. We are told reliably that the consultant got 34% of the value. The minister for works and housing is here. He sets what consultancy limits must be. He has set it at 16%. So you sat in cabinet and watch your colleague minister pay a consultant 34%. Your ministry has set a standard and he has broken it 16.5. And he has paid 34%. And you didn't advise him. And you tell us that it is God. And Mr. President, they tell us that if we refuse it because Nehemiah tried to build, we are Sambalat and Tobias. Hey, wait. When they were building a temple, you forgotten that there was Ananias and Sapphira. You used the name of God to steal. Stealing in the name of God. That is the sin of Ananias and Sapphira. Mr. Speaker, for, for, for the purposes of clarity, Ananias and Sapphira stole money for the church. And if today we are seeing a disparity of 114 million, that is not being accounted for properly. Mr. Speaker, if this, this is not an analysis and Safira, I don't know what it is. But Mr. Speaker, our friends on the other side remind me of scripture again. Matthew 15, 8 to 9. Where the Bible says, these people, these people, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. But their, te their teachings are merely human rules. The Bible knew we will have a majority like this. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I will end here by going back into the Bible. Mr. Speaker, the Bible, in the Bible, God calls only one man, a man after his own heart. And that man was David, a man after God's own heart. A man that the finance minister aspires to be like in vain. But you see, Mr. Speaker, even when David wanted to build a temple for God, a man, he called a man after his own heart. He said, you have blood on your hands. And for that sake, you cannot build me a temple. So he put together the material for the temple for his son. Mr. Speaker, I end by remembering the lost eight citizens who lost their lives in the 2020 elections. There is blood on their hands. Can we build a temple for God? Thank you very much, Dr.